the mama and her little babies. Hi, mama. Mama. Okay, it's Tuesday morning again, and I caught this little lovely sweetheart. And man, I've been trying to catch this one forever. I think it's a girl, and I think she hangs out with her. Well, I know she hangs out with her sister and her brother over there, and uh. They're, I've already caught two of them, and this is the third one that I haven't caught out of the three that hang out together. And sh uh, the other two are really savvy to the cage, so they won't come around if the cage comes out. And she pretty much follows what them and what they do. So um, it took me some patience. Had to wait over there for about 20, 25 minutes. But uh, finally... Uh, two of them went underneath the cage and started feeding and I trapped them both and I released the one that had already been caught and this is the last remaining one and we're going to head up to animal services and get her fixed up today. She didn't get too bad of a boo-boo. So actually this morning I had trapped uh, a gray one first. Uh, which was uh, Spork's mother so she recently had a, that litter and I've been trying to catch her because I know she gets pregnant uh, and she it was a deal where the cage was sitting on uneven ground and she got out through a hole underneath the cage before I could get over there so uh, who knows if she'll go back inside the cage anymore and then uh, before this guy I had actually trapped another black one um, and I didn't want to pull the cage down because his tail was hanging out and I didn't want to smash his tail and I tried to kind of scare him so he would move his tail and get out of the, out of the way and he ran out right before I could catch him so he saw that it was a trap as soon as the cage went down when he ran out. There's two cats this morning who are now going to be leery of going in the cage. But this one, I think she is being a real good girl. She's not too scared, not hissing. And let um, see if I can try to pet her a little bit before she goes back out to be with her brothers and sisters. See, this little girl is so sweet. She's letting me pet her. I hope it's a girl. But this one and her two brother and sisters, they uh, see me coming every morning and they just run and all the way across the parking lot, run and run just to get to my car. Um, they're so excited to get fed. And they don't get too close though when I get out of the car, they pretty much maintain a distance, but they are happy to see me. So they know me as a friendly face. And so this one's not too scared right now. So we're here at Belusia County Animal Services again. And we're going to drop this one off here in a minute. And we'll pick it up later on today. Okay, and this little girl's name was Ripley. And she was no fuss at all. And we got her all done. And I'll see if she's going to let me pet her before we let her go. There she is. That's my good girl. Yeah, just a sweetie pie. Yes. I bet I could take you home and just love you. I can kind of tell when they're girls. The girls just act a little bit differently. They look a little bit different. There she goes. Mom is there with her babies. She's got two babies with her. Oh, there 
they go. He said, don't take my babies. Thank <laughs> you.